Okay, anyway, like I say, part two. That's the first time that I can remember that I knew that my dad was cheating on my mom. And I don't even know if y'all can hit me on this video, but what up? And then, I don't know, man. <sighs> Life just went on from there. <clears throat> and I think it was like after that, it was another time. I don't know. I might have saw something in his phone or something. Or, I don't know. I heard something else or whatever, and it's like. He'll take me out, buy me a toy or some shit. Or we just might go out to eat or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I get to spend time with my dad. What it sucks that it's because he's trying to make up for something. <laughs> and then other times he would just make plans with me, but don't follow through on it. I guess they stayed together for the kids, but because of the that, I'm like, no, don't never stay together for the kids. If y'all not in a loving relationship, please part ways, because it be your kids no justice. Growing up in the house when they parents beefed out, but y'all talking about y'all standing together for the kids. <laughs> My anger, I get my anger from my dad. I mean, it's it's, it's not cool, but it's cool though, cause I've been working on it. I've been I've been working on it for a very long time. I think I'm getting I'm I'm getting I've gotten a whole lot better with it. So, but yeah, he he pretty much kind of sort of sucked as a dad. In my opinion, he sucked as a husband. Because I watched you dog my mom out. I hold her responsible too, because it takes two to tangle. You stayed just like he did. I wish one of y'all would have left. It's like, look at it. The other men in my family, it's like they dogs too. It's like, dang, can any man, can any man related to my damn family be fucking faithful? Now, don't get me wrong. You know, if y'all agree, y'all have an open relationship, y'all into poly and all that, cool, by all means, do what you do. <laughs> But if you agree to be in a monogamous or exclusive relationship, whatever you have, why can't you just do that? Because after all, ain't nobody put a gun to your head. But you chose to lie. You chose to be deceitful. It bothers me. Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna lie. Like, let me see. I didn't cheat it. I cheated one time, and I told on myself within 24 hours. Like the very next time I talked to the person, <laughs> I told on myself. Cause it's like, dang, I fucked up. Okay, yeah, I definitely got to tap talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh yeah, she was pissed the fuck off. She was pissed the fuck off. 
it took us a while to get over that. But it's cool, you know, because I fucked up. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I didn't also swerve with a couple of people that was in, re in relationships or whatever. Uh, you know, I didn't did that a couple of times. Did I say it was right? No, it is not. I used to be a hoe, a nasty hoe. But I'm working on being better. <laughs> progress. Progress. Forward progress. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Cheating bothers me. And even like, like now, like I said, like, I done messed up in the past, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not really be like, but I mean, like, if you and your old lady want to do something, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. We could do something. But man, I can't, man, I can't be a part of you stepping outside, you know what I'm saying? And me possibly being a part of another woman's heartbreak, being a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's messed up. Because I don't care. Like Sarah Jakes Robert said one time, like, I don't care what you're talking about. You are not an island. We are all connected. We are all connected. Because even when a man be like, oh, she ain't going to care. She ain't going to care. Well, nigga, you're lying. Because if she ain't going to care, all right, we'll call up. Let her tell me she don't care. And we could do this with or without her. Let her tell me she don't care. You know, but I don't know. People just don't understand me. I guess I'm weird or whatever. <laughs> this whole video came about because me and one of my brothers was talking. And it's just like he just couldn't like understand where I was coming from. And it's like. I don't know what to tell you. I just feel how I feel. But it's like, at the same time, you're not a woman, so I guess I don't expect for you to understand. So I guess it's like, you have to take a step back and like, think about your mom or think about your daughter or something like that and be like how would you feel if they got cheated on like you know what I'm saying like yeah apparently it's cool when you know the man that's doing it but how cool is it when you know the woman that's being cheated on Again, I did start part one off with <laughs> um, sensitive and emotional <laughs> to the things that go on around me. Even with my friends, my friends can't stand me because I'm like that with them too. Hey, dog, don't do that cheating shit around me because, hey, I don't. <laughs> If your partner don't ask me, I won't tell him. But if I'm friends with your partner, I, I don't know how not to say nothing. Because after all, that's my friend you're doing it to. I don't know. I ain't even gonna lie. I was cool with somebody one time. And they, they told me they told me they wasn't going to invite me. It was a dude. They told me they wasn't going to invite me to their bachelor party. Because they didn't want me to snitch on them. Hey. That's cool. But um, if don't nobody else tell you that might be at your bachelor party, let me tell you. If you're going to be doing something at your bachelor party, 
that might possibly get you in trouble, your ass shouldn't be getting married in the first fucking place. And yeah, I mean that. Whatever, get mad, I don't give a damn. But that's what it is. Because no, that's not your last night of being single right before you say I do to somebody. How fucking disrespectful is that shit? I'm sorry, I might have lost y'all, but I know in a lot of men that be like, yeah, that's my last night of being single before I say I do. No, the fuck it ain't. Your last night of being single was before you got in the relationship. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm supposed to think uh, if you cheat when we not married, you gonna stop cheating just because we got married. Man, come on. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. <sighs> yep, that's exactly why I started this YouTube channel, because talking about shit helps me feel better. I feel lighter and better now. Come on, y'all don't even understand. I was sitting up in here trying to hug myself and shit, man. I was, I was in here, like... Hey, you know, I just said it might sound crazy as hell. Because I got all emotional because me and my brother was having a conversation about this. And he also called me emotional and sensitive. Do you know how rude it is to call a person that's emotional and sensitive, emotional and sensitive when they have no control over it? Like, I really don't. Like, sometimes, I don't know. Some things just just make me want to cry. Sometimes it's happy tears. Sometimes my feelings get hurt and I cry. It depends on what's going on. And I guess, like, more than being misunderstood by my brother. It hurt. Because it was like, he remember this one, this incident that happened. I don't know, maybe about eight, nine, ten years ago, something like that. I remember that as well. But I also remember an incident, I'm 30 now, and I might have been maybe 10 or somewhere around there, give or take a year or two, a couple maybe. And we was walking up the street, and he was like, Midget. Cause that was my, that's what my bro called me. He said, he said, Midget, what you gonna do if some niggas start jumping me? I'm like, bro, man, what kind of question is this? I'm gonna help you fight. He said, no, run and get help. And my mind, I'm like, man, what is you talking about run and get help? What I look like leaving you to get jumped by some niggas? I don't care who it is. You my brother. I'm not leaving you. Shit, if we get beat up, we gonna get beat up together, man. What? Uh, like, again, man, I, I honestly don't remember how old I was. But I do, I do remember that conversation. Like I started off part one, and like I don't, I be trying to remember my the earliest memories I can remember. And I guess, like I said, I guess it would be like in third grade or the incident with jumping on my grandma's bed and I hurt my foot. But it's like I remember that, and it's like the way my brother responded to me is like, oh, I guess that wouldn't be most people answer, but it's like. But that also confirmed for me. I don't play about my family. Right? It is what it is. And we go and we together and we get into some shit. We just gonna get into some shit together. Like I'm not leaving you what I look like. Worst case scenario. The family gonna have to do two funerals but i'd be damned if the other worst case scenario is one funeral and then i gotta be like yeah because i ran to get help man fuck that <laughs> we in this shit together we going out together that's how we rocking <laughs> you understand <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know y'all could be like, well, you just should talk to your brother. I thought about that. I thought about writing a letter, too. <laughs> I don't think he had the point in time right now where he would understand where I'm coming from. So we'll give him some time. Do it hurt? Hell yeah, like a bitch. But I'm not going to give up on him. I still have faith in him. I think this might be one of the rawest videos I've ever done. Here's to 30. <laughs>